Hi everyone, it's Danny, and today I'm filming a quick haul because I went shopping last weekend and went into Space and K and Urban Decay and Zara and Boots and Super Dragon, places like that, and just got a few things. So yeah, I'll just get started straight away so that this haul isn't too long. And first I'll start with the Zara bits. Now I went in there to get a bag for my mum for her birthday but I ended up coming out with two things for myself which I don't think is too bad considering Zara is my favourite shop. So the first thing is already hung up because it just got so creased and it's this top and I'll just move back to show you and it's a blouse type material and it's really nicely like draped and it's just colour blocked black and white and it has sort of like the sleeves come up to basically your wrists but they're like not like over your hands and it's really lovely flowy material and I just love it and the neckline's nice and big and I'm not the type of person that likes to wear blouses and everything so I thought that was a great alternative so I don't have to wear jumpers all the time and the next thing I got is a jumper but it's a bit more acceptable for summer and it's this and it's just a sort of jumper t-shirt kind of top it's got like a big wide neck and sort of short sleeves that come up just above your what's this called oh my god your your elbow that's it and so yeah it's really lovely and baggy and it drapes really nicely and I never wear cream but I wanted to try and wear some cream this summer so I got this and I love it and it was only £10 I think and the blouse type top was £40 which is quite expensive but it's worth it for me because I know I'll get a lot of use out of it and it's very smart yet casual so you can wear it to sort of anything and because it's black and white it goes with anything so I thought that was a really great purchase and I love them two bits and then next I'll show you my sort of boots things and I got two new Royal Techniques brushes because Royal Techniques brushes are my favourite brushes of all time and I've been trying to find these brushes for ages but they didn't have them in my boots and they finally had them when I went at the weekend so I got these two brushes and I got the setting brush and the expert face brush and the setting brush I got obviously for like setting just sort of like my concealer under my eyes and stuff and if I don't want to wear powder I can set sort of like smaller areas to make my face look more glowy and I bought the expert face brush just for like sort of like blush and foundation so yeah I'm really looking forward to using them because I love all Real Techniques brushes Next I got two nail varnishes from Revlon and I never buy Revlon nail varnishes and it's these two colours. This one's called Impulsive and it's a lovely deep rich purple colour which I absolutely love and even though it's come up to summer I love wearing deep colours but I thought purple would be great because it's still like a pop of colour. And then next I got this one and it's called Scandalous and as you can see it's a gorgeous colour. It's a deep purple with large pieces of pink glitter and like small pieces of pink glitter and pieces of purple glitter I think it may also have like black in there but I absolutely love this nail varnish and it just you can see how much it shines and I'm really looking forward to wearing them too so yeah Revlon nail varnishes get a thumbs up from me next I got a model's own nail varnish and it's in the shade Beach Party and you've probably seen this before but it's a lovely neon orange nail varnish which I really think would look great with an all black outfit or even that Zara top I got and so yeah I really love this nail varnish and I can't wait to use that either. Next is something I got from Sally's and I just went there to buy hair dye because I'm dyeing my hair tonight and the video before this I'll probably have my new hair and then it'll be this video so don't be confused I haven't dyed it like this again it's just because I pre-recorded this as it was easier for me. So yeah, I'm dyeing my hair tonight and obviously by the time you see this video you will have seen it. So I hope you'll like it and please let me know what you think of it. And on to the thing I actually bought. I bought this Sechevit Dry Fast Top Coat and I think I'm going to take it back to be honest because I know it's a brilliant product but I already have my Sally Hansen top coat, I can't remember what it's called, but it's amazing and my nails dry literally so quickly with it so I don't really need another one. But yeah it is a great one if you're looking for a top coat along with the Sally Hansen one which I just mentioned. And next I have a couple bits from Urban Decay because I went there to buy my mum a naked palette for her birthday because she loves my Naked 2 palette 
and so I got the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I think this is a great palette just to carry around with you and it's got such great classic colours which you can use for every day and I'm really looking forward to using it. It's so small and compact that you can just sort of put it in your bag and take it anywhere with you that you need to do your makeup and it has a big mirror and these six colours, yeah six colours and they range from light to dark and I think that's great because you can create sort of any look you want with them and it was £20 and I think that's worth it to be honest for six eyeshadows from Urban Decay. Next also from Urban Decay I got a mini makeup setting spray, it's the all nighter one, <laughs> I don't think they do any others but yeah so I got the all nighter setting spray and I haven't used this yet. I wanted to get the smaller version because that way I can just carry it in my bag and I usually do have a big bag with me but if I ever have a little bag it means I can take it. I think it was £9 or £9.50 which is great and even if I use it up I might get the bigger one but I have MAC Fix Plus which I've heard isn't actually that great for setting makeup but I think it works fine so yeah I've been using that and I'm looking forward to trying the all nighter. Next I just found two more things that I got from Sally's but first of all I got this OPI nail varnish in the shade Sprung and it's a gorgeous coppery colour with gold and silver like very small glitter particles they're not even glitter they're just sort of like shine and I really like this nail varnish and when I saw it on the sort of nail wheel that they have I just thought it looked gorgeous so I got that nail varnish as well and I bought four nail varnishes in the past like week but I do love nail varnishes. Next from Sally's I just got a pair of false eyelashes and I got the Ardell Wispies in black and I love these eyelashes I've used them once before and they're just so lovely and natural looking but they're still quite dramatic so I really do love them. Just to show you better if you can see they're not sort of like all one length and they're not like really compact they're just very natural and wispy as it says so yeah I really love them and ignore my nails. I had acrylics but for some reason three of them have come off and I have no idea why but yeah just ignore my nails but these are the eyelashes and I love them and they're great for day or night if you want a dramatic day look or a really gorgeous smoky eye look for the night. Next I'll move on to my Spacing K purchases and when I went in there they were doing a offer where if you spent £75 you'd get a free Diptyque candle like the miniature ones that are £20 and I love Diptyque candles so I had to spend that obviously and I got a few products. First of all I got the Kevin Kwan Celestial Powder in Candlelight and I think the packaging is gorgeous and to show you the actual packaging it's just a lovely deep red and inside there's the highlight and this is where the brush was but it just fell out and I don't know if I'm actually going to use the brush but I love this highlight it's gorgeous it's so sort of like natural looking if you can see that shimmer I'm not even sure but it's beautiful and I will post a picture with it on, well actually I think I'm going to do a makeup tutorial on Sunday and that will probably be before this video so if you see that first then just ignore what I'm saying but if not then that will be coming up. And to be honest I feel as though I splurged a little on that highlight because it is only a highlight and it cost me about £35 but I do love it and I think it's good to splurge on a really nice product every now and again that you're going to use a lot. And then next I got the Kevin Aquan The Sensual Skin Tinted Balm and the packaging is the same again and I got this in the shade SB04 which I think is the darkest shade and I might have to go back and get the second, like the second darkest because I'm not sure if this is too dark but this is what I got recommended and it does sort of look alright like on camera but like when you see it in person it looks a little bit too dark so I'll have to see and because obviously the counter person recommended it to me I hope that I'll be able to take it back if I try it and it's too dark but this is the item that I got because I need to spend £75 because I spent about £50 and then I was like okay I need to spend £25 more and this was like £35 but I wanted to try it so I thought I may as well get this instead of something that I'm just getting for the sake of it so yeah I got this and I love the packaging, it's like rubberized here and I think it's so nice how you can see what's in there so you can see how much you have left and I'm not actually going to swatch this for you but you pull this lid off and it's just sort of like a squeezy thing 
and the product comes out here and I think that's really great because you can just put it on the back of your hand and then use a brush to put it on and the last thing I got from Space and K was a NARS blush and it's in Mata Harry or however you say that I'm not good at pronunciations but it's just a gorgeous bright pink blush I never go for bright pink blushes like this I always go for sort of corals or brownie toned blushes or sort of like dusty coloured blushes if you get what I mean but I thought I'd go for something really bright and pink and I love the colour of this it's so vibrant yet yeah, it doesn't come out too vibrant on the skin which I love because you can build it up if you want to I don't know if you can see that the highlight's there and it's just underneath but yeah I really like this blush and if you want to see the free candle I got I just got this Diptyque candle and it's in a different box I think to normal but it's just this size and I think it smells really lovely and it's in fig figure something like that but I really like it and I don't know if it's meant to smell of figs but I do quite like it anyway even though I don't like figs so that's it for my haul guys I hope you liked it and I'm going to try and do a haul sort of once a week because I go shopping far too much and it will be much easier to do that so let me know if you're cool with that idea and I will do that so yeah let me know your opinions on these products and let me know any products or anything that you've been loving so I can maybe go pick them up and see if they work for me and make sure to check out the down bar and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and like this video if you liked it and leave any video suggestions in the comments as well so I know what you guys want to see and yeah I hope you like this video guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye